Good day, everyone. Today, we will be discussing weathering. Together, let's make learning science fun and easy. Earth is mainly composed of rocks that differ in terms of sizes, shapes, and colors. Though rocks seem to be very hard, dense, and indestructible, they still break. Rocks are broken down into smaller pieces by the effects of weather. These pieces do not move to a new location. They simply break down but remain next to one another. The breaking of rocks into fragments is known as weathering. Weathering is an important process that helps shape the Earth's surface. The breaking of rocks results in the formation of soil and different landforms. This is also the reason why we have amazing rock formations. Weathering can either be mechanical or chemical. Mechanical weathering is a physical wearing away of rocks without any change in their chemical nature. While chemical weathering involves change in the composition of rocks that allows them to break down into pieces. Agents of Weathering Water Water can break rocks in different ways. The strong waves that seep into the cracks of rocks can make them break. When it gets colder, this water can expand and turn into ice which can trigger rocks to break as well. Wind Wind is another agent of weathering that causes beautiful formations like the Mahayao Arc in Sabtang Island, Batanes, Philippines. As the wind blows, it carries sand or small rock particles that scratch the rock's surface. This can bring out about mechanical weathering, which can also result to different rock formations. Temperature When rocks are exposed to varying temperatures, it expands. If rocks are exposed to a low temperature, it contracts. The repeated expansion and contraction of rocks due to changes in temperature results in weathering. Plants some plants, like lichens, ferns, and mosses, can also trigger weathering. It can grow on rocks and cause them to break into pieces. Eventually, metabolic or life process of these plants will cause the gradual breakage of rocks into smaller pieces. Animals Animals that live underground also contribute to weathering. As burrowing animals dig deeper, they cause rocks to break into pieces. Humans Humans also contribute to the weathering of rocks Subdivision developers use bulldozers to flatten mountains or hills to build houses. Some construction workers use jackhammer to break boulders of rocks as they repair roads. Mining companies extract stones or rocks from a quarry or an open pit mine. Some miners throw dynamites and other explosives on quarry sites to get more rocks or stone which can trigger landslides. Land 
Let's do this! The activity that you are going to perform will clearly explain weathering through communicating the data collected from the investigation on the soil erosion. Learning Task 1, Erosion by Water We have here a pan A and a pan B that filled with soil. Put gradually water into the pan A. Observe what is happening in pan A when we gradually put water into the soil. In pan B, let us put the water rapidly. Observe what happened. Based on your observation, in which setup did the soil move faster? Why? In setup B, the soil moves faster because of the rapid flow of the water. Based on your observation, in which setup did the soil move further? Why? Also, in setup B, the soil moves farther because of the rapid flow of the water. Based on your observation, which setup moved more soil? Why? Also, in setup B, the soil moves more soil because of the rapid flow of the water. As you observed, what happened to the color of the water? The color of the soil became darker as it ran with water. Based on the data collected in the experiment, what can you conclude about soil erosion? The rate of erosion may be ver very slow to very rapid depending on the soil. Learning Task 2 Showing Wind Erosion This is Slow Fanning of the Sand Observe what happens to the particles of the sand. Moderate fanning. And fast fanning. Observe what happens in the particles of the sand. As you observed, how does the speed of fanning affect the shape of the sand formed? The shape of the sand is circular. The sand particles move accordingly to how strong the wind was blown.
Let's do this. Use a Venn diagram to compare and contrast mechanical and chemical weathering. Mechanical weathering is a physical wearing away of rocks without a change in their chemical nature. While chemical weathering involves change in the composition of rocks that allows them to break down into pieces. They are the same that they are breaking of rocks result in the formation of soil and different landforms. Let's do this! Identify the change happening in each situation on the space provided before each number. Draw a heart eyes emoji if the change in an example of mechanical weathering and wow emoji if it is an example of chemical weathering. A boulder offshore is slowly broken apart by the force of water. This is a heart-eyed emoji. Earthworm makes tunnel in the ground which may lead to the breakdown of stones and rocks. This is a wow emoji. Some plants release chemicals which loosen the rocks and cause them to break. This is a wow emoji. Water inside the rocks freezes and melts again. This is a heart-eyed emoji. The chem chemical composition of rocks changes when acid is produced by the roots of some plants. This is a wow emoji. Minerals in rocks dissolve. This is a wow emoji. Three roots can grow into cracks and break crack apart. This is a heart-eyed emoji. As the wind blows, scary suns or small rock particles that scratch the rock's surface. This is a heart-eyed emoji. As the rocks expand, the crack becomes deeper and new cracks are produced. This is a heart-eyed emoji. Rocks exposed to the intense heat of the sun cracked and crumbled when it rains, falls, or soak in the ground. This is a wow emoji. Let's do this. Describe how rocks turn into soil in the following pictures below. Write your description on the space provided beside each picture. Picture number one, it can grow on rocks and cause them to break into pieces. Eventually, metabolic or life process of these plants will cause the gradual breakage of rocks into smaller pieces. Some construction workers use jackhammer to break boulders of rocks as they repair roads. Mining companies extract stones or rocks from a quarry or an open pit mine. Picture number three. Water can break rocks in different ways. The strong waves that seep into the cracks of rocks can make them break. Let's do this! Read each question carefully. 
and circle the letter that corresponds to the correct answer. It is the breaking of rocks into fragments. A. Erosion B. Flooding C. Weathering or D. Runoff The correct answer is letter C. A type of weathering that involves change in the composition of the rock. A. Chemical B. Both chemical and mechanical C. Mechanical or D. Electrical The correct answer is A. It is open pit mine where rocks can be extracted. A. Landfill B. Reservoir C. Open field or D. Quarry The correct answer is D. Which of the following tends to cause physical or mechanical weathering? A. Animals that burrow in the ground B. Root of plants growing into the cracks in the rock C. Water that seeps into the pores and cracks of rocks D. All of this the correct answer is D. What will happen to a rock when it is exposed to higher temperature? A. Contracts B. Evaporates C. Expands or D. Sin The correct answer is C. Let's do this. Match the definition in column A with the concept in column B. It happens when rocks are exposed to a low temperature. This is letter A. A type of weathering characterizes by physical wearing of rocks. This is letter C. As agent of weathering, they dig deeper causing rocks to break into pieces. This is letter B. As it blows, it carries sand or small rocks particles that scratches the rock's surface. This is letter E. The process by which humans extract stones from mountains. This is letter F. Thank you for watching. Till our next science lesson. Goodbye.